everyone, I'm Pearly. And I'm Super Dazza. And welcome to another episode of Smite Community Concepts. We are finally back with the series. We took a teeny weeny six month break from the series, but we're back for good now. The winner of last episode was Agony Agni by Exista, which you can check out in the description. The concepts for this episode, coincidentally, all have some sort of water theme to them, and you can vote for your favourite at the end. Enjoy! Sylvanas! In this concept, Grover would look like an underwater coral reef with an octopus attached to him. Sylvanas would look like a deep sea diver, and the bird that flies around Grover would be a seahorse. Sylvanas would talk in an Australian accent, which is inspired by the diver from Finding Nemo. For Sylvanas' first ability, Verdant Growth, Grover would throw out a sea anemone. If it hits an enemy, it would wrap around them to root them, and if it doesn't hit an enemy, the anemone would be planted and would grow. At full growth, the AoE would look like a small reef, and the MP5 effect would be a ball of water on allies. For Wisps, his second ability, the Wisps would be replaced by either eels, jellyfish or clownfish. For his third ability, Nature's Grasp, a tentacle from the octopus attached to Grover would reach out and grab the enemy. And for his ultimate, Wrath of Terror, coral and sea urchins would burst up from the floor. As viewers of the series might know, Jiraz, our artist, makes the art for the concepts that haven't been submitted with any artwork, which means that the artistically challenged, like me, can still showcase their ideas without drawing. Having said that, we do like to show off the artistic talent of the community as well, like with this concept drawn by Duster. Fenrir would be a lifeguard for this skin, surprise surprise. He would wear a short red tank top with lifeguard decals, a rescue whistle, a visor, sunglasses, flotation devices, such as armbands that would replace his runes, and human flip-flops on his hind paws that comically don't fit his feet. He would have a West Coast slash Californian accent. For Unchained, his first ability, Fenrir would leap to the target location and would land with a splash. For Fenrir's second ability, Seething Howl, he would bring his rescue whistle to his snout and blow it. Brutalize, his third ability, would have splashing effects for each strike. And his ultimate, Ragnarok, would not change. Abwash. This one is an awesome concept that turns Apwatch into a drowned pirate corpse. He would wear a scarlet covered overcoat to distinguish him from Dreadbeard Poseidon, and his clothing would be more tattered in general than the Poseidon skin. His mouldy body would be covered in barnacles and seaweed, his staff would be made of human bones topped with a golden anchor, and his voice would be monotonous, occasionally speaking with pirate slang. For his first ability, Undead Surge, the corpses that rush forward would be covered in seaweed and would leave a trail of water behind them. His second ability, Corpse Explosion, would be a whirlpool of black water that expands outwards. The whirlpool would explode in a spray of water. For Fleeting Breath, his third ability, he would throw out some sort of voodoo charm that explodes into black water and leaves a corpse where it lands. And his ultimate, Empty the Crypts, would be a ghostly tidal wave of neon green water, with drowned ghosts replacing the usual spirits. Now it's time to pick your favourite. Turn annotations on and click the little eye in the top right corner of the video. From there, you can pick your favourite concept out of the three. The winner will be announced next episode. That's all for this episode, thanks for watching. Everything you need to check us out is on screen, so go do it. We'll see you in the next episode of Smite Community Concepts, and we promise that won't be in another six months this time. <laughs> <laughs>